What situation is he in? Everybody would have noticed that either in the press or at investor conferences, the children talking after school, everybody knows that we have a problem with sustainability. So now I drew his children or just some children. Nice. In my lifetime, will I leave this company in a better place? And what will I say to my kids when they're big? Absolutely. But also he might be looking for a very specific way to go about it rather than just talk about what can I actually do? And that's what we, of course, then want to help him with. What's B Corp exactly? It's a methodology for assessing your environmental impact, your social impact and your governance. What is he dreaming about? What is the situation that he would love to do? So I don't know what he thinks. What I always like challenging them on is that when you get stuck, it's because you're in a sort of Cartesian mindset where you're thinking in a linear way, in a win-lose way. And I think what's beautiful about the B Corp idea is that the minute you approach it with a win-win mindset, that you can have both and, you can have all these things And you go into the granularity of the detail of the assessment criteria and you really say, how can I have everything? It is actually possible to find solutions. But we've been conditioned to think in a win-lose way. So if I do this, I'm going to have less of that. And I think we can have, it's not a nirvana or utopia, but it is actually a place where we can liberate ourselves from the win-lose and really think win-win. And I think if the board member can paint that picture to the CEO, say we can have this and we can have that, we can have this and we can have that, that's going to be the magic. (laughs) Oh, like a smiling. So now he's explaining and how is he doing that? Oh, he's totally talking about facts and figures because whenever you're talking to non-executives and CEOs who have on the thinking around that question that Matt had earlier, do they need a strategy for effective enrollment in the idea? Whenever they're in that process, it is really helpful to come with figures. Uh, And B Corp have tons of research that shows you, business schools have tons of research on stewardship and sustainability and how ethical companies have outperformed less ethical ones. There's tons of facts and figures around. I love the mix of Why do you have 50% women in your cabinet? Because it's 2015. There's a real lovely mix of these two because it's the right thing to do. And by the way, here's the facts and figures. So here we have the win-lose mindset on this side here. And here he's standing his ground. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. You hit the nail on the head. (laughs) Great. Great. Thank you for this challenge. As you said, it was a pretty complex one. It's, it's a nerve-wracking thing itself, but uh, we got there.